Welcome at the moment. You've been waiting for showbiz this year with the queen of showbiz. Um, she's already in studio. Yeah, yeah. What's up? What do we have? Uh, we have something about Mr. Drew uh, because Jam Rock Bar and Event Centre has sued Ghanaian artist Andrew Nee Komi Otu, popularly known as Mr. Drew, for failing to perform at their event, Dab Easter Dance Party with Mr. Drew, which was slated for Monday, April 1, 2024, at Isui Jaman. According to the organisers, Mr. Drew pulled out of the event, though he was paid 50% of the performance fee before the show. The management of Jamrock had earlier indicated in a press statement dated April 2, 2024, that all was set for the event to take place. But the artist, Mr. Drew, pulled out of the event when he, he was supposed to mount the stage without any reason or explanation to the organisers in a writ of summons issued by the District Magistrate Court saying she on April 15, 2024, Jamrock Bar and Event Centre is demanding the recovery of 15,000 Ghana cities, being money the plaintiff paid to uh, Mr. Dew to perform at the event but failed to do so and the refund of the money annulled since February 12, 2024. It also seeks an order for the recovery of special damages amounting to 36,511 cities uh, being directed costs incurred by the plaintiff in connection with the events, the general damages of 200,000 against the defendant for the severe damage caused to the plaintiff's brand as a result of the cancellation of the event. So that's it about mm. Mr. Drew. Uh, this should be a lesson to uh, all creatives. Yeah. Yeah. So when you're being the paid... The is, is huge. Yeah, that's, yeah. that's, that's huge. You're paid, well, I don't know the excuse that he has, okay. but this is in court. They're suing him because he failed so, to show up at an event that you're being paid for. Yeah. Uh, hopefully they yeah. learn from, uh, from, 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 yeah, from Mr. Drew's like case. This. But this evening is uh, Wednesday mm. and we're... I put in the spotlight on one incredible comedian. He's mm. called Beneza. Uh, you don't know him. He's actually an architect. And okay. Very excited to introduce him mm. uh, to you here on Join His Prime. 2016, when I was a student at KNUST, my final year, and then I've been pushing through. Uh, so roughly about eight years now. Yeah, but I used to do it like a hobby kind of because I was in architecture school. I finished, I did a management service. I worked in an architecture firm for a while, then I stopped and I decided to freelance to make more time. So I stopped at 9 to 5 and I do comedy on weekends, architecture on weekdays. So that is, that's how, for about the last four years, I've been doing comedy consistently. I've done my own shows in Kumasi. I'm actually uh, residing in Kumasi. So I do shows in Kumasi, then I come and do one in Accra, and then I commute between Kumasi and Accra. So that has been a journey so far. How does that work, Kumasi? And uh, because I know that everything is happening here in Accra, do we have like uh, an, an industry there in Kumasi? Because I know that almost all of them, all, all of all of you. They're there. Yeah, there's a whole big industry over there. Sometimes when Obi did uh, popular but broke, he actually did it first in Kumasi. Before here, we have many amazing comedians. I have many people who are like ahead of me. They started before me. There's Atopa, there's Danlati, uh, there's Fia Barcelona, there's Mr. Carter. There are people around my age in Sebre, Paul Pitts, Jephtha. There are so many. There's a whole industry over there. We have comedy clubs in Kumasi. Yeah, just like we have some here. So, it's, But this is bigger. There are more comedians here, more shows. But there's also a vibrant uh, comedy industry in Kumasi. Yeah. Uh, thank you so much for the enlightenment about what's going on in Kumasi uh, when it comes to comedy. But before I let you go, let's talk about comedy jokes, the jokes that you put out there. Do you write it? Because uh, I heard from one legendary comedian that you have to be able to write your own jokes and practice them for well, several uh, several times before uh, you you crack those jokes. Do you do that? And what what what's your style? What do you do? Uh, what he said is is, is is true. To each comedian in their own, we have different types of comedy. But uh, I write when you get the inspiration, 
and there's no show. You need to write it down, otherwise you forget. It's just a thought, a passing thought. So you write it down, and then sometimes we work it out at the comedy club. We tell our audience, and when they laugh, we know that this joke is good. And then we come and do it to a bigger crowd like this. So that's basically how we do it. Other times we improvise. We are looking at the audience, and we are, we are uh, it's called improvisation in comedy, or crowd work. You can see someone's dress in the crowd, you make a joke. Uh, we don't want to hurt the person. People think we are mean or no. We just want to make us, everyone laugh about something that we've all seen as funny. And then, uh -huh. so basically, that is improv. We didn't write that one. It just came over the top of your head, and then you are doing it and you are vibing with the people. Other times, you will write, you go back and rewrite it. Sometimes I have a joke, I'll call old Joe or PJ or Jerry that this joke, they can help me make it better. So we do that. Yeah. Uh, thank you so much, but before I let you go, finally, in the comedy industry, what would you like to see change or work for the comedy industry or the growing comedy industry, apart from the supports that you need from uh, the masses? Uh, we also need corporate support, apart from the masses. Now we have the masses. Even me, when I do shows, I sell out. <coughs> but we need the companies to sponsor us, more companies to uh, sponsor us. But they are coming just little by little. We need more. That is one thing the Nigerians have that we don't have. Yo, thank you, thank you. <laughs> yeah, you can see my phone is buzzing. Everybody is calling me. They are calling me. Yeah, first time Romano is saying that congratulations. Yeah. So we need more corporate support, like big, big companies. They should come and rally behind us so we can take Ghana comedy to the world. Mm, we need to take Ghana comedy to the rest of the world. And that'll be all for Showbiz here. Sure. And that's all we have time for in this hour. You can log on to myjoyonline.com for more stories. My name is Carlos Caloni. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great evening.